Hi, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Taniki Tanike. And yeah, um, this channel is geared more to like a natural life and things like that. So I'm going to be going off grid in the island uh, on the island of Jamaica in Portland in the Blue Mountains. Right. So this video is just a quick uh, video to tell you some things that I think would be beneficial for you to bring if you're going camping or if you're beginning to go off grid and your property that you're going off grid on is more raw land right so one socks <laughs> i don't think you will understand how much socks are beneficial for you to have an abundance of like if you think you have enough socks bring more socks and then bring more socks you just need it like you will never understand how essential they are until you get there right after that um what would i say five gallon buckets five gallon buckets are absolutely necessary and they're indispensable because they can be used with in so many ways right but make sure you also have lids and that way we're going to lead to five gallon buckets for composting toilets so if you're going off grid and or you're going camping and you do where you're located doesn't have facilities because one uh you're camping in the jungle or the woods or the bush as you may call it um do yourself a favor and learn about composting toilets because it's a quick and easy way to be able to have a facility instead of having to go and <laughs> go into the jungle or the woods or the bush with a shovel and squat <laughs> trust me composting toilets and it's so simple and easy and what you would need you would need a five gallon bucket with a toilet seat lid that closes completely you need biodegradable bags and you need sawdust okay there's other things that you can add to it but this is like bare 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 minimum the easiest setup in order to have facilities right you also would do good if you brought um solar lights whatever kind multiple kinds because like as i said i'm going off grid in uh portland jamaica and we're going i'm going in the blue mountains so you might think okay you're gonna see things with the moon and the stars no babe it is blacker than a thousand midnights up there so solar lights flashlights stuff like that come in very handy also if you can it would do you good if you got like a solar generator because yeah you would like to have some power i have an all power system i love it it helps me to charge my cameras it helps me to charge my battery banks my cell phones um the next thing a battery operated rechargeable fan that's a very good thing to have as well because it it um as it gets hot right because as i said this is more geared towards jamaica but i'm sure these things that i'm saying can translate to other locations but i am focused on jamaica and this wouldn't be my first time camping my first time camping well i don't really like camping so i hate calling it that but just for the sake of this video we'll call it that because i'm really into glamping but for the sake of, um, this wouldn't be my first time going off grid. I did, I did it a couple months ago for a couple weeks, but this time now is gonna be for a longer term because as I said, I'm gonna be developing an eco retreat and organic garden that deals with like permaculture, food forests, uh, Korean natural farming, Hugo culture, you know, just all the natural steps and proceeds that we use to have healthier food. But I should, you know i get back to the point about the video also what you need uh come warm blankets and warm clothes you may not think you need it because you're like um jamaica is a tropical island and it's cl so close to the equator that you don't need warm clothes but uh little do you know the blue mountains at night become very cold it's not necessarily that way in the summer but as we're going closer to fall trust me you're going to need warm clothes so like a hoodie some sweats your nightgown or your pajamas please bring you know bring something that's warm and blankets you're gonna need warm blankets now 
this is something that to me is absolutely essential i don't know other people can do whatever but a good quality air bed for me it's a queen size because i like to spread out i don't like to be you know as i said i don't like camping i like glamping i like a bigger tent and um yeah so if you could deal with something smaller than a queen bed that's fine like but just get something that after you've done hiked and you done climbed and you done worked you can have a good respite like you could you could really recharge the body through sleep okay um what else i said we said socks we said the solar power generator we said solar lights um hold on i had written it down so let me just grab my book I wrote it down because I was doing it for TikTok yesterday. Okay, yeah. Screens, oh yeah, okay. So you need screens, especially if this is a longer term uh, going off grid process, get yourself some screens. You know, like what you put around your patios or your windows, buy yourself a roll and please have screens. These are so essential. And with the screens, you need insect repellents. Like do not go in woods jungles or the bush without proper insect repellents regardless if you use chemicals or you use natural it's not my business i'm just advising you please bring insect repellents because them insects are no joke all right after that you need tarps if tarps or jamaicans call it tapalin you need them that they're absolutely essential you need them or you need a heavy duty plastic i have both because as i said this is a longer term thing for me so yeah you need top arling and you need tarps and also don't forget to bring bungee cords or power cords or some kind of rope and i would suggest like clamps like the ones that you squeeze and they open up yeah those come in so so handy that uh, they're essential. Like I know I keep saying these things are essential, but trust me, when you're up on a hill, these things make your life so much easier. I mean, trust me, we know we need everything when we're going off grid and this is a more permanent situation, but I'm just telling you the stuff to make your first couple weeks a lot more bearable. Of course, you're gonna need water. You're gonna need like the essentials. Like we're not talking about those. All right. Um, I, I think I said a, a battery operated fan, it would do you good. So those are the things that I think, you know, you really need. All right, so follow me on my journey. I'm getting ready to head back to Jamaica. And yeah, we're gonna do this thing. We're gonna show what it takes for, you know, a single woman, not to say I don't have help, I do have help, but mostly a single woman to leave America, to go up in the hills and create an eco retreat slash uh, organic farm food forest all right so follow me on my journey uh i know i post sporadically but i'm gonna start posting more because we're getting in line to actually start doing what i've been dreaming of for almost over a decade so thank you so very much blessed love and i'll see you on the journey bye <laughs>